that. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer... Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and... How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? This is Novigrad. Oh, Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you... Find him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again... Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get into the sewers. As often as required for... Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Well, draw your weapon. Silver. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count.
Check the ladder. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put... So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his ribcage, and a scar... Let's examine the chest wound. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds look means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogal up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. 
Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue in strong... Explains why there's no smell of decay. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. Nope. Speaking from experience. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf. See anything? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Doesn't strike me as the right time. No apologies. We surgeons. Mm-hmm. And a different... Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into tr A student. Lifelong learner. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. You old friends? You and not very well. You've still not mastered certain... You've not checked... A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Woodcarver's body. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own arse. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't... Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel. A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears Most are scoundrels before they ever... True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral... Mm. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the... I know him. Thus I avoid him. I've said... I decide when we're... An old story. But if you insist, what will we do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. And I'll keep my eye. That is where an ass all you were, Joe. Your performance was magnificent.
Calm. Be gone, or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We're in Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Need... So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford. And I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss a burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside him. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? If they had, they'd not have helped. We know they had folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? It was Fabian who threatened this one. But you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, "'Tis all your fault, dirty bitch! Human dish rat!" Know where I can find her? The City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Fine. Need to look around. Be my guest. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood from Maldai, left a few stains behind. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Bleach, goat heads, penny buns, no magic. Just our own, you know, for ordinary folk. Look awfully suspicious to me, Strand. No lollygagging. To puke or not to puke. Watch you, Strand. Very handsome. Well, Obi Grad's not your stomping ground. Human. Priscilla's. Says, that him. How am I to know? Watch him, this see what he does. Your 
Any last words? Look at me, Buck! Help me! Oh. That's it, you're in for it! You're in for it! Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues, and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work. Priscilla wasn't- Oh dearie, this didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, or- We're calling in- They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it. Naturally, we'll stand aside. Oh, my head's ringing. A brazier. This time of year. Yeah. A brazier. This time of year. I know brazier. that smell. smell. This time of year. Formaldehyde. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Awful pile. Oh, you scared. What was it happened to Faltus to him? Another drifter in from Tiberia. So, how you go with this evening? I was thinking a bit of one your own business when No bread, no coin, all is shite. Another drifter in from Tamaria. <laughs> right, oh, my, my pizza of bread. God, Oi, Witcher! Coroner, told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come and see. Let's stay home, my man. Buy your door, buy your window. It's got a piece like a racehorse. It means bandits drop the blood. I know shit. You can't go out on the streets no more. At least before they didn't used to kill you. You, Eustace, the corpse. I? Fourth sense, I think it is. You. One of them? So there have been other. Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... Some things are best left up. What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel... Shame? Why? Actually, never... You search, Fabi... Whoa! I, uh, cost a... I call a spade a spade. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, your tax collect... Tom, what did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. 
<laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some poop? Get out of my sight. Now. Master Witcher. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the order. Nice of you, especially given you- Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are. What Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Yeah. Not fond of very few. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with... Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even when... Gotta find her. Time, Master. Your wounds. Need to talk to Pat You think any bum will her life's in danger. If you thought this up, and I'll let you always thought a guard was supposed to protect. So be it. I'll Oh Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. I'm hunting a serial killer. 
And I've got reason to believe you. Why, even if it's true? He's exceptionally cruel when he kills. So let's see how she... I find this all very hard to believe. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh! He... he ran out the other door! Catch him! your eyes listen you got the wrong guy save your trickery taking you to the heiress <sighs> well killer's already escaped lead the way hero we got him lady ingrid it wasn't easy but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself this man is innocent forgive me i saw him running for it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to... And... Let her... Bruises. Broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie. Crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Won't get away this... Open up. Mm. 
What are you offering? See you. Must like the rain, that one. Master. Oh, you'll look fucking amazing on top of me. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <coughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still, mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how the. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, but. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Be nice, or I'll shove that poker up your ass. Go on. Take it from me, freak. Mutant. Oh. Oh. Shit. Free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me so hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to, and he was here in the poker, in the fire! <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you. Dick your dingle. Aren't you too old to be out whoring? Right. A pie, most certain. 
And maybe they'll draw and call him. We can go at it here. Yeah. Or at my Good place. About that, I did. Yeah, cheese. Ooh. Mm. Ah, a witcher. This is not what I wanted. What do you mean, not what you wanted? Are you... This is not the look I wanted. And this is not the fate. Oh, welcome back. Give me a hair. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of? Yeah. Thank you, Geralt. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. It Sounds great.
Oh, fuck. Don't write it now. Lord, the thieves right pulled the murder. You know, Mr. Menga. You don't think well. People. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. Hi. Her. Need to get to Not on this boat, you'll pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Ever sailed there? Listen. The islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth boarded me once. Expect they wanted to see if I... Oh, I need a fall. Come and suffer. I long to curl up with a bottle. Oh! Waste of breath. Captain, what do you want? You're the captain. Name's Wolverston. living with you. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Oh, the... Ah! Oh. Oh, I thought it was. Oh. 
Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos? I need to get to Skep. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our carrying grain. But. Got any caught? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the. Hang it! 